space is really an extension of the body. Between the body and the outer space there is just this membrane which divides each individual in a way. Space exploration for me is not about as an exploration for example of the unknown or as a colonial exploration but it's really about exploring ourselves in this bigger dimension which is also part of ourselves. Cogito is a project where we send brain waves into space. We record them with a sophisticated device and uh, we convert it into a sound that can be transmitted into space in real time. We have 32 electrodes and these uh, 32 electrodes record the electrical signals across the entire brain and uh, convey the signal into this box, which is a wireless device that transmits the, the signal to a receiver, which is connected to a computer. I wanted the scientific element of the project to be very clear, very strong. The neuroscientists really played a very important role. I really want the brain activity to be as best as it could. For the radio transmissions, of course, I work with uh, radio astronomers, also radio operators. The language of radio and the language of neuroscience have nothing in common. We record one particular kind of brain activity, which is the response to a video in virtual reality, which is created around the idea of the overview effect, so the idea of seeing the Earth from outer space. The video is, is very experimental, so the, the thoughts that people report are very broad, so uh, it's not directing your thinking in any direction, but it's rather trying to expand uh, your thinking and uh, in what usually we refer to as a stream of consciousness. So it's really about uh, this flow of thoughts that uh, I'm interested in capturing and uh, sending into space. The signals that were sent by the SETI scientists in the 70s were all about our rational understanding of life. So uh, if an alien civilization would receive those signals, would imagine that humankind is a very technologically advanced, very scientifically advanced species with a very, very rational mindset. Of course, this is only a very small part of what our mind is about. So I think these messages really misrepresent completely what we are about as humankind. And uh, instead, I wanted to really convey what is essential about our um, experience of life, which is this um, continuous uh, shift of thoughts. I was uh, very fascinated by the possibility of communicating something which is really contradictory about our nature and not being ashamed about it, but rather uh, acknowledge that and try to ask perhaps other beings, are you also like that? Uh, do you have the, the same experience of life as we do? In this project, the concept of dualism is multiple in the sense that it's all based on the dualistic meanings. So the dualistic meaning of uh, body and mind, the dualistic meaning of uh, outside planets and planet Earth, but also about the con many contradictions that are part of our lives. The project is based a lot on uh, the mirroring effect as well, which is looking at outside in order to look inside. So it's about exploring outer space in order to understand ourselves better.